slaves? For over half a century, Washington DC has been the staging ground for massive protests for righteous causes. Fuck yeah! Where hundreds of thousands will invade the power center of the United Snakes to speak truth to power. Believe in freedom! Freedom! And death to the damn commies! In 1963, there was a march for jobs and freedom, where Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Fuck yeah! In 1987, Half a million queer folks took over DC to demand rights for gays and lesbians. Fuck yeah! And in 2017, history will be made once again when thousands will take over the National Mall for the Juggalo March. Yo! This is for my ninja! Yeah, one more time I'm able to escape and broadcast to you from exile, imposed to me by the idiotic slave masters at Sub Media to bring you some real fucking news. So, with that said, I bring you Ape Boy, a lifelong juggalo with the crew Struggalo Circus. Yo, Ape Boy, how the fuck are you? I'm doing fucking wonderful. For all those zombies out there who just don't know what the fuck is up, what are juggalos? What are juggalos? Yeah, that's what I fucking said. Juggalos are to the insane clown posse as deadheads are to the Grateful Dead. We're a fan base that's been following this for a long time and it's a real close-knit community. My mom, your mom, brothers, cousins, etc. All juggalos. It's like real deep family thing. What is the struggle of circus and how are y'all related to other radical groups and the broader juggalo subculture? What are the struggalos? All right, eight boy. I'm the one asking the fucking questions. It's a lot of juggalos hiding in the crevices here and there in other subcultures that people aren't always aware of. And as things have gotten worse with the uh, with politics in general, with the gang labeling, etc., cetera, uh, we've really come together over these points and we see each other at protests, we see each other at marches and demonstrations, and it was only a matter of time before Juggalos and the people that they were working with started getting together for the sake of the Juggalos cause right now. So what the fuck is going down on September 16th in Washington, D.C.? We're having a march, having a protest, to bring publicity to the fact that Juggalos have been labeled a hybrid gang by the FBI. And, you know, that sounds funny on the surface. You know, we, we thought it was funny when it first came up. But as you see the, the rights that get infringed upon, Juggalos are losing custody of their kids. Juggalos are losing their jobs. Juggalos are getting more serious prison sentences for very minor offenses because they're technically gang members under FBI's listing. We think it's important for the rest of, of our society to know that these rights are being infringed upon and that these people are being discriminated against. But I think that they picked Juggalos to start with on purpose as a way of finding a demographic that isn't gonna have other people jumping in both feet first to defend them and see how they can pass that by. And if they can say, these people are a gang, then they have a precedent set. And they can say, well, technically this other fan group also fits that bill. And this other sports group fits that bill. And they can start to label any kind of subculture as a gang. And what has the response been of far-right organizers of the pro-Trump rally set to take place at the same time? There have been a, a couple people that put out videos asking the Juggalos to uh, side with them or at least not fight with them, but we're not going to be out there to interact with any other political group and co-opt their message at all. We're there to bring light to our particular situation right now. And a lot of the right comes at us with lists of people for us to hate with them. And they, they, they don't want to help us. And they want to take the attention away from us and onto them. And I feel that a lot of uh, left-leaning organizations that have come to the Juggalos have brought a lot more support. And they have a lot of Juggalos in their ranks. And I mean, we're, we're all we're all hiding in here, but most of us really uh, prescribe to. We're, we're really about anti-racist, anti-classist, anti-bigot tenets, and most juggalos are against it. But 
we're we're not we're not there to fight anybody at all. And finally, magnets. How the fuck do they work? Most people can't explain to me what makes an electromagnet work. And the reason for that is is because it starts to dabble into quantum physics. And we don't really understand that completely. And anybody that says they do, they're bullshitting. Uh, I think that asking silly questions about simple things in life, like why is the sky blue, kind of an, it's, it's kind of an important point, and it shouldn't be shut down right away. And that about that's it. What the fuck? Yo, Stim, we told you you were banished until you worked on your shit. Yo, send the flying glass cage and get this joker out of here. Fuck you, Lopez. No person can hold me. 